even though I did kind of destroy the turkey bones um, forget trying to get a, a second get the marrow out of the bones in another pan um, I did cook the turkey bones and the carcass in the this the crock pot for 10 hours and look at this 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 goodness I mean the whole of the bottom of the crock pot there we go was covered so I would say there's probably a good inch and a half maybe more there there was some fat on top I've scooped that up and put that in the freezer for later use and I've been putting this in these because that's all I have the right size for storage and you can probably guess what that is but um, I'll be putting these in the freezer um, and I have myself each one contains 10 ounces so at least I'll know how much is in there and I can use them in future for soups, stews and gravies and all that kind of fun stuff so that's it so far for the turkey carcass Hello, back in the kitchen again. I stand up like this and then you can't see my, my skunk scrape. That's the only thing with, with uh, dyeing your hair is you end up with a straw. Anywho, so uh, Thanksgiving leftover turkey. Mm -hmm. We all got lots of that stuff, right? So I'm going to make a, a turkey, a turkey curry. Hello, I'm going to make a turkey curry. Let me kneel down. Oh, that'll be easier. I've got a stool here, <laughs> a little step stool. So we have half a teaspoon of cumin. We have a teaspoon of ground ginger. You can use fresh ginger if you want. We have a teaspoon of paprika. We have a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of coriander all mixed in there. Isn't that pretty colour? Uh, usually they use heavy cream but I'm using uh, yoghurt so it's half a cup of yoghurt. Now usually for this setting here it's two chicken breasts. Well of course it's turkey so I roughly divided it, picturing, it's probably not equal, but I roughly divide, I mean, if you want to make it equal, throw a bit more over there. But I roughly divided it, imagining that two chicken breasts right there, but that's turkey. And cubed up. Now, usually also use a 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, can tomatoes! Well, you can use your own tomatoes too, but I've seen to have run out of both. But never mind, because I have tomato paste, sun-dried tomato paste. And that will help give them some tomatoey flavour and help thicken it up too. Help thicken it, sorry. <laughs> help thicken it up too. And how much is this? two and a quarter cups of turkey broth um, usually talking about one and a half cups ish but I'm trying to make up of, of broth but now I'm trying to make up for the um, difference in the can that we're not having um, normally they use onion but I'm using a celery stick and then some garlic and it's three cloves of garlic crushed so and it does a lot of people you can use ghee which is one of the things that they use um, for making curry you can use ghee um, some people don't shout at me Stacy but some people do use extra virgin olive oil but you don't need to really bring it to heat that much what I'm using and I've finally got hubby into using is is the 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 the, uh, the <laughs> 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 
pork. <laughs> the um, chicken, chicken fat that I skimmed off the top when I um, um, boiled the chicken bones for chicken broth. So, and, and that's actually healthier for you. Again, I'm not using a non-stick pan because I, I don't like using non-stick. No, it has nothing to do with the fact that I've just burnt three or two pans recently. Heat up your, um, your fat. Because what we're going to do... Oh, I don't like it. Actually, I would love to have a gas stove. Don't like electric or even a wood stove. I would love a wood stove. Okay, you can just see little bubbles starting to rise. And put the, the celery and the garlic mixture in. Using celery because we had celery in and didn't have onions in. And we're trying to save. So we're trying to use what we have in without running out to go and buy extra. The reason why I'm not sending them out to get the tomato. Okay, and then once you start smelling the aroma of the garlic cooking, and usually onions, but this in this case it's celery, you don't want them to brown because especially the garlic because then that can start to turn a bit bitter so you don't want that and then um, drop in your this is cooked normally it would be raw you would drop it in to cook and then you will cook it like this until it's cooked and tender Once it's cooked and tender, you put the spices. Toss the meat around so that it gets coated in the spices. At this point it gets to be pretty dry in the pan. And then you cook it like that till it's aromatic. Do you want a peek? I'll give you a peek. See, oh, sorry. Not enough light, but, well, there you go. Mm -mm -mm. Smells good too. Smell it. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, that's a good scent. I usually just put a little bit in first so that you can get the spices to mix together. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. Now you can turn it up a bit from here. Because you want that to boil. To start a rolling boil and then you should turn it down to simmer. And this is one of those dishes that the longer it's sautéed and in, then in, in, in the juices and what have you, the better. And that in the bottom is turkey. That fell off the bone. And that can go in there. You don't want to stir it too much because you don't want the meat to fall apart. So, that's it. So far, once it comes to the boil, you 
let it cook I would say for about 15 20 minutes I have rice jasmine rice already I'm not using any naan bread or anything like that um because I don't have the right um, ingredients to make naan bread um, but once this is boiled I will use the tomato paste to thicken it up with and give it a bit of tomato flavour and then just before serving you serve it hot and I'll add the um, I'll add the um, yeah what is this <laughs> I'll add the yogurt Don't come to a boil. Now, because I only have the one pan, but I, I, you know, the one saucepan and one stock pan. Thankfully, I'm gonna come down here. Hello, hello again. Thankfully, I managed to save my stock pan, but I, I pre-cooked my rice because I only have one. One of the one saucepan like this that I like to cook in. Um, hubby has two saucepans, um, but they're non-stick, and I don't like to use non-stick. And he has non-stick frying pans too, which I don't. Uh, again, non-stick. No, oh, no, no, not for me. So I've got the rice already pre-cooked, and all you need to do is boil some water and then pour it over the rice and that actually heats the rice back up so you can cook I, you know from one cup of rice it makes three cups from yeah it makes three cups of cooked rice so you know if there's any leftover rice from today all you need to do is just heat heat boil some water and pour it over I hate it when my, is that my hair sticking out probably is Look through your glasses too. Yeah, that's my hair sticking out. What? Let's see if I can grow it. Got all kinds of things going on here around my ears. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Sticking out so much. Ah, oh, a little bit. Never mind. Okay, we'll come to a boil. I'm going to turn it down. Let it simmer because the chicken's already cooked. I want it to I want the chicken to thoroughly heat well turkey actually. It's turkey June! I want the turkey to thoroughly heat through. It's usually one tablespoon ish. Of this tomato picks if you can get it open. <laughs> well, heck. Oh, I hate you. Ah! Okay. It was my grip, my fingers. I have the label facing the opposite way. Luckily I do have another chew of this. Because this is not a tablespoon. Is that the top of the tube here? And open it up. You'll be amazed at how much is left in there. Yep, I do that. And I also do that with um I also do that with tomato, with that tomato. Yes, I'm doing it with tomato already. No, I also do that with a toothpaste. Because if you've never done it, do it. You'll be surprised at how much um, toothpaste is actually left in the tube. Okay, so. I'll open a little bit more. Okay, that 
that's about. Tablespoon, let it simmer. Reduce it down a little bit. Mm. Oh, my back hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm moaning too much. Okay, so while that's doing, I'm going to cut this top off. Open it and then cut it. Oh, you can smell the tomato. Not, not with the curry with this. And then peel it back. Oh, are you dancing, Nanny? Can you see? You dancing? Oh, it's beautiful. You dancing? Come on, Nana. Oh, you're such a good girl. Okay. That's it. Show's over. I'm looking at you. I'm looking how you even caught that because she doesn't like she's camera shy she wasn't when she was a puppy and I, and I, yeah. unfortunately it was too sick to at the time to work you know keep her free anyway some people might say it's not worth it but there's about a teaspoon down there I could have done with a little less water. Well, a little less stock. So. To thicken it up a bit. I'm going to use some arrowroot. See, that's what it looks like. And we're going to pour it in slowly. I mean, if I let this cook, it would reduce down more. Uh, I just don't, because the turkey is already cooked, I don't want it to um, dissolve and break up too much. The arrowroot is that kind of thing you really have to be careful with. Because um, if you add too much too fast, oh my gosh, you end up with clumps of something horrible. Yeah, a little bit of more arrowroot. It's needed. Hey, sweetie girl, my blind cat. She says, I smell something cooking. Okay. And again, same thing. The one thing with arrowroot, you can mix it in pretty quickly. Hello again. Reached capacity, my phone must be running out of space, so I'll try and do this quick. Boiled water to reheat the rice. It helps to stop it from sticking to itself too. And I'm going to stir in the the um, what would be the cream, but I'm using um, uh, yogurt. Turn the heat off to do this so it doesn't coagulate. For some reason, yogurt seems to, especially the Greek yogurt, seems to take longer to stir in into stuff. I'm using a slotted spoon because he doesn't like that much sauce. 
And he wants more turkey than I want to, so. Still quite a bit, decent amount left. Okay. Okay, I shall take it through to hubby. Hi. Hey. Yeah, yeah. What is doing again? Terry. What? Terry. No, this, this one. Turkey. Oh, don't. Good. Well, there we go. Proof in the pudding. He's eating it, so it can't be that bad. What'd you say, Nana? You'd like some, what? but you can't, honey. I have to have some of your own. You want some turkey warming up? No. Oh. She's upset because I haven't been spending the past few days snuggling with her too much because I have things to do. So, that's dinner. And that's one dish uh, that I actually... Um, the amount that's left in this pan I bake two dinners and two lunches um, or two dinners and three dinners maybe four depending on how much you eat with the rice with it but it's a good amount